Okay, so now we've imported the two databases, cars and customers. And the next thing we've got to do before we do anything is obviously the data types. So we go to home, view, design view. And yeah, we've got it. Customer ID was the primary key. You can see the key next to it. That's right, it's primary key. Title text, four names text, surname text, company, address text, 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 text. So there's not much we have to do on the customer one. Okay. And we can save it. Let's go to the cars one. Here it is. Sold. We look at all the different columns quickly. Just give it a quick look. Purchase price. Price. Hmm. We know that's a warning sign. We're going to have decimal places here more than likely and some sort of a symbol next to it. Year. This you've got to be careful of. Can you see this date column? It's got day, month here. This is just here. It's just got numbers here. It's got no anything else. So we're going to leave it like it is. Okay, sold is yes, no. Remember, sold is yes, no. Data type here is going to be Boolean. Yes, no. This one we're going to make data type. Obviously, we're going to make this date. And purchase price. We're going to look at our paper. Let's look quickly, glance through our paper and see if there's anything about what we must do with the money side of it okay question five display your name calculate the to total profit format all currency values bound sterling two decimal places okay so we've got something to do there so let's go back to our database we've added a browse, quick browse through gone through our exam paper seeing if we must do anything with these prices and let's go do our data types go to design view here you know card is number make model text purchase price number we know we're going to make it currency because it's a currency and they said it must be two decimal places all of them must be two decimal places and the format must be pounds which is currency okay go to the next one do the same um, format and make a currency decimal places two and there we go two you remember we said we're gonna leave it number why didn't that change here we said we're gonna be in number let's go see why I'll show you once again why save it yes because year is only numbers 2044 it could have been 11335965 we know that's just numbers okay it's got no date and no month on it so we're going back here at currency we made it remember currency two decimal places we do a screenshot put it in our evidence and there we go in our evidence okay make sure the examiner can see what you've done so we're going to do that and then make sure the dude that's marking it can actually see what you've put in there can you see that now you can see it that currency is too next one click on the next one print screen it it's 18 marks on the exam paper you want to put as much evidence in as possible and I'll show you why and I'll show you where it says to do this okay let's go back to our include in your evidence document screenshots that show how this validation has been achieved there's one of them there's another one including your evidence document screenshots that show the structure of the tables showing all the field types primary keys relationships between these tables 
So a lot of screenshots we got to do. Okay, so there we go. And sold was yes, no. Remember in our database when we went to have a look at it, view, database, where's sold, yes, no. We know it's Boolean. Go back there. Go back to our design. Sold. Highlight yes, no. Don't click on it. Just highlight it. Do a screenshot of it. So they can see that you know what Boolean looks like. Screenshot. Go to your evidence page. Put it in. Click on it. Format. Crop it. Grab it in the corner. Cut it. There it is. Text, Shane is Boolean. Okay save your every now and then save it you don't want to lose your work and have to go and do it all over again and then date solve will be date time okay and what you can do is take a screenshot of all the data types here so you go and take that and you can see all the data types as well so if he's got a query you can come and look at your evidence and you can see Oops, yes, all the data types look right. Go there, cut there. Oh, I hate it when it does this. Make it bigger so the dude can see what you're doing. And there we go. You can see all your data types at a glance. Okay, so now we've done that. Save your screenshots. There we go. Save it. Why is it read only? Didn't make it read only. Wow. Save as. Oh well, I think I'll give another name. Save. Doesn't want to save? Make sure it saves. Okay, so then go there. And what's the next we're going to do? Okay, so now we're going to start validating it. So let's go back up to the first thing we're going to validate. Each customer has a unique customer ID. So we're going to work on the customer ID. Okay. Each customer. Go to the customer table, go to view, design view. Each customer has a unique customer ID. So we're going to click in validation rule because we've got to put a validation in it. Some sort of a validation. Okay, which is five characters. The first character is P plus four and B plus four. So let's do that. Okay, so in our validation rule, we're going to say like because it's like. P, and then we're going to go one, two, three, four. P and four question marks because we don't know what we're going to input. We don't know what they require. Or like, I'm sure you know that what you're going to put in here. B and four question marks. And then, yeah, you're going to put some sort of a text in. Only enter. Uh, P or uh, B with four values. Okay, so there's our validation role, our first one. And we can save it, let's test it. Save, go yes, and let's test it. Go to our data sheet, and let's put on the first one, let's put a Z. And another number, and click over there, and this comes up. Print screen it, and put it in your evidence document. Okay, format it, click it in the corner, 
make it so that the dude can see and shame what you did okay so there you go go back to your database undo the changes you're okay undo the changes so that it goes back to its previous thing and there's our first validation rule done let's go and see what the next one is go back into view design view so we've got our first one done let's go see what it's, uh, the exam paper says the telephone number of each customer is a format of five digits followed by a space then six digits that's quite easy uh, where's the telephone number click make sure you click in the telephone data type go to your validation rule and you go like remember it's a text so we're going to go like four nor uh, o's four o's because it's text we're not going to put four noughts or zeros because it's not um, numbers it's text so we go one two three four five space is the backslash key and then six o's one two three four five six and then you go there only enter five numbers followed by a space then six numbers okay so there we go let's save it see what happens save yes yes Let's go to our table, see what happens. And let's put an extra number in there. Do a print screen, we know it's working. Print screen, go to our evidence sheet. Put it in, format it, crop it. Can't crop this one too much. Drop it from this side. Make it a bit bigger so you can see what we've done. Grab a arrow and you can point to the number. okay and there's our evidence save it hope it's not going to say read only and that's we go okay so let's undo it go okay undo okay so let me see how much time i've got left oops so i've got to stop it yeah